Functional Flex, Team FFLEX, here in the office. Quick video, you guys, about contest prep judging. What you need to be listening to, where you need to be going, how you need to influence your physique to get where you want to go, whether that's to win shows, to go pro, to do whatever it is you're trying to do. Just maybe step on stage for the first time and get your foot in the door. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is I hear this more and more. There's a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions, and especially in this health and fitness industry. Everybody on Instagram will DM you and tell you this, that, and everything else. Your coach might be saying some shit that doesn't make sense. You got friends, you got family, you got other competitors, people that are trying to influence your thoughts when it may or may not be leading you down the correct path. So I think clarification for what you need to listen to, where you need to go, and how you can get where you want to go with your goals is super important, and that's why I'm giving you guys this video. So when it comes to competing, you guys, right out the gate, I'm going to tell you who you need to listen to depending on your level of com uh, um, what level of competitor you are. Okay? If you're a first time competitor, you've never done a show. First thing you got to do is figure out what show you're going to do. You got to figure out what federation that is. You got to look up that federation and look for what they're looking for in the division you're going to be competing in. So for example, you want to compete bikini. You want to do it in the NPC. You go, okay, here's the NPC show. I want to do this show. This is going to be my first show. Great. I'm going to go look at NPC now. I'm going to see, okay, they want this in bikini. Here's the suit, here's the conditioning, here's the muscle, here's this, boom, cool. That's the basic spectrum of what you need to achieve. Now what you need to do is get yourself a coach that can coach you for an NPC show just like that. You gotta get someone who knows what they're doing, who doesn't have a big ego, and has real experience getting athletes ready for that type of um, competition. Now, listen to your coach and go do the show. That's what you need to do most. That's the most important person you can listen to at this point in time is your coach. Whoever you chose to lead you down this path to get you to your first show, that's who you need to listen to. Don't listen to your friends. Don't listen to the fucking Instagram haters. Don't listen to people that are telling you shit. Don't listen to other competitors. Listen to your coach, the person that you hired to get you ready for that competition. Next level, if you have already done a show, okay, you already went and competed, now who you need to be listening to for the most part is probably going to be the judges, okay? So your judges, you guys, are the people that place you at a competition. They're the ones that give you the trophies, that let you win the overalls, that get you the pro cards, whatever. They're the ones that place you. They're the only ones that can place you. A lot of people seem to think in their head that their coaches can somehow do that, so they listen to the feedback of their coaches more than the feedback of the judges. If you are going to compete in the same federation, you're going to do a similar type show in that federation, you might even be doing the same show a year later or something like that, the judges' feedback from the show you did most recently in that same division, federation, is going to be what leads you to placing better in the future. So again, it has to be in the same federation, it should be in the same type of show, etc., same division. If you're going to jump from, let's say, NPC to OCB or to WBFF or something like that, the, the notes from NPC are not valid anymore. The notes from the old different stuff does not translate. Each federation is looking for their own stuff. So you got to listen to your judges. And again, if you're jumping federations, you're doing something else, you're starting back at square one with getting a new federation, learning the rules, getting the coach, following the coach's orders, get there, get the feedback, and follow the feedback. Now, if you are a national level competitor, the only opinions that really matter is going to come straight from the national level judges. Your coach may or may not have their opinions, but your coach should be listening to the judges and the feedback they've given you from national type events to get you to where you want to go. If you want to go pro, you want to win, you need to listen to the judges because they're the ones that are going to decide if you go pro and if you're going to win, not your coach. And the reason I keep saying coach is because so many people uh, get stuck listening to their coach that has a big ego and says he knows, she knows more than the judges that are going to place you. Okay, I hear this all the time, see it all the time, people tell me about it, that coaches with these fucking big egos think that they know more than the judges do, but at the end of the day, you guys, the coach does not place you. The judges do. And so, here's how it should be done, in my opinion, this is what I follow myself, 
Go to a national level competition. Whether you do well, you don't. You get the feedback from the judges. You go to work with your coach. You and your coach develop a plan to get you where you need to be to improve the different areas that the judges gave you feedback for. And then you go back and do it again. And you execute and you repeat the process till you fucking win and you go pro. That's how it should be done. Your coach should not be having a bigger ego saying that he knows more, she knows more than the damn judges that place you. At a national level, you are getting the best judging in the world as far as that goes for those federations, okay? Oftentimes, those same judges are going to be the one that judge the pros. They're the ones transitioning you into the pro leagues, giving you those pro cards so you can compete with the pros. So if you want to win, you want to go pro, you got to please the judges. You got to do what the judges want you to do because that is the physique they're looking for and they are shaping the trend of the entire industry based on the feedback they give you. So make sure that you know where your priorities are. Priorities always will lie within the judges. If you have already competed, that is where you need to listen. That is the feedback you need to bring. That is the work you need to do to go execute and win some fucking competitions. Coach Rap is out.